Hello, my name is Rodney. I'm from the PO Gamer Kick and YouTube channel. And today I am going over my recent pickups for the month of May 2016. It took me a second to remember. I'm actually doing it on the last day of May. I'm not doing it like in the middle of the next month this time. But wow, I actually got quite a few things this month. I was actually surprised. Normally it doesn't get this much stuff, but let's go ahead and start. Start with my board games first. I only got one board game. And that is Student Bodies. Like I was, oh, try to make sure the light doesn't glare off of it. Like I've said many times, I am the reason why people keep making zombie games and movies and board games. I love zombies. I know people are probably getting tired of them by this point, but I love them. I haven't played this yet. I'm actually probably going to do a unboxing video of this. Um, it's actually but around the back of it, you're a student, you've already been bitten, and you're trying to survive as long as you can. When other students die, they turn into zombies, and they chase after you. So, it seems like a very interesting board game, and I can't wait to play. Alright. Let's set this back there, exhale away. Um, I picked up a few card-related items. Like, I had gotten some of the... Um, Babylon 5 starter decks. So, uh, this is Memorial Day weekend. I have um, a place I go to that actually had a bunch of them really cheap. The, uh, the boxes of cards. So I got some of those. They were five bucks each. These are all for the Babylon 5, the different expansions they have. Um, still haven't played it yet. Can't wait to. I love this. I love the uh, show. It's one of my favorite all-time sci-fi shows. So actually having those, I'm not sure if I want if I want to do an unboxing or not. But I like the boxes they're in because well, that one's still sealed. Which one? That was that one. One had Londo on it. But yeah. Oh, don't. There. So when you open it up, these are the ones that you would go that they put up in the store, like that, to show what it was and have the cards in it. It's like, I, actually, I think whoever owned this, that's what they did, because the top cards are a little dusty. So I think that's how they actually had it displayed in their home. <laughs> or it may have been a, a card shop they just sold to this place. All right. That was my only... Um, board game related stuff, I believe. Yes. Okay, so now we'll go into video game related stuff. Not video games, but this, this is more accessories. Found these at a uh, Goodwill. I've never had them before. I don't know if they're, ever, if they're any good or not, but they had some of the Nerf Wii accessories. I always thought they were goofy and never, never bought any of them. But some people like them. And I was like, okay, cool. They're a buck. And they had all, all three of them. All, all four of them. Yeah, all three. This is just the one thing. But yeah, all these are together for a buck. And I was like, alright, I'll, I'll get those. They also had something else that actually shocked me. Three. This is the reason why I started looking for other Wii stuff. When I saw that they had this. Wii Balance Board. They had it for three ninety nine. dollars so I picked up a Wii Balance Board, I actually checked it, it works, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool for four bucks to get a Wii Balance Board. Uh, also, out the, uh, picked up another uh, steering wheel at Goodwill, had it for two bucks. So I was like, all right. So that is where I picked up all those because of the, because when I saw the Wii Balance Board, it was at the front of the store in the case. And I was like, how, and, uh, they, didn't have, they had a price tag on it. And I was like, that, is it really $3.99? He's like, yeah. And so I picked it up. And then I started walking around the store looking for other stuff. Okay. So, other things I picked up for game, video game related. I picked up another uh, game case for my PSP games. This will hold, I think, uh, eight. Yeah. So basically, it holds two on each side like this. So four and eight. I like these type of cases. This is like the sixth or seventh one I have similar to this. Um, so I have it and I actually have another one. Yeah, that's right here. 
I said, oh, this is actually the exact same type of this one. Like this. So what I like to do is, because I don't have to carry all the I like, to, I like to put the games inside of these when I carry them around. So that they don't, so that uh, it protects them pretty, really well. So yeah, but I got this for a buck. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, when I took this, put this back over here so I don't want to say, um, up to the counter, it looks like a PSP. And the girl looked at it, she's like, wait, where'd you get this? And I was like, this on your clearance shelf. And she's like, well, wait a minute. And she actually opened it. She's like, oh, it's just a game case. And I was like, yeah. She's like, I thought that was a system. I thought I was going to get in trouble for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, but it's kind of funny when she said that. I thought that because uh, she thought it was an actual system. But they did actually have like three or four of the original PSPs there uh, that somebody had traded in or a few people had traded in. Okay. I also picked up uh, for two bucks a PlayStation Vita game case. This one will hold two, four, six, seven, 12 games. I, I like these because I mean the Vita games are kind of small and are very easy to lose. The only thing about this one I'm not sure about is that will kind of annoy me. Actually, let me show you the ones that I currently have. Um, where are they? Here we are. These are the ones I currently have, like this. They hold eight games. Like this. And they don't really, they kind of, little, the game move a little, moves around a little bit. But this, that little thing, it goes, that might get annoying. But I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing is putting like a, just a, I had one for the 3DS that did, was very similar to this. So what I did is I actually took a paper towel and just put it inside of it and it stopped it from rattling. That's probably what I'll do to this also. All right. Other video game related items, kind of accessory things. Um, uh, Ghostbusters Lego, Lego Dimensions. Huge fan of the movie. When that came out, I was like, I gotta get it. It's mine. Okay. Let's see. Now let's move into the video games. Probably should have sorted this stuff out before now, but I will quickly try to do this on the fly. Actually, this isn't really a video game. This is video game related. Um, like I said, I've always been wanting the, the PlayStation Underground stuff, so I've been looking for those now every time I go to the stores. Not the... Um, um, Jetpacks or what are they called? Jam packs, whatever. Not the um, demo discs, but the actual the ones like this, the PlayStation Underground. I think this is like the magazine equivalent. I still haven't watched the other ones. These may all just be demos, and I may be like, oh man, I don't want this. But there was like a buck, and I was like, all right, it's a PlayStation Underground something I've always I was always wanting when I was younger, so I picked it up. Okay, now. Video games. All right, yeah, that would go there. <laughs> so yeah, and that, and that, and that, and those. And then that. All right. First, I will start with my hand, the handheld versions. Uh, that will go there. Roughly sorted. <laughs> Very roughly. <laughs> okay. Start with handhelds first. Um, for um, a buck, because the guy the, is on the clearance shelf, the guy said it didn't play. Um, I, pay, I always looked at it as a dollar, and I actually had my Game Boy SP with me. And I said, um, I said, can I try it? If I, get it if, I, if I can get it to work, I'll buy it for a buck. And he said, sure. And uh, I put it into my P my Game Boy SP, turned it on, and it worked. And he was shocked. He said, I have, he's tried it in five or six different SPs and they don't know how to work. But he's, a trader, he's tried it in all the ones that have been traded in. And they were pretty dirty. And mine is, is pretty clean. And so when I got home, I cleaned the game. And it was pretty dirty. It looked like somebody had st stored it bottom up. But for a dollar, this is Final Fantasy Legend 3. Which really isn't a Final Fantasy game. Um, it's kind of like a Tales of game, if I remember correctly. I haven't played too much of it. I kind of started it up mainly just to see if it worked and played a little bit of it to make sure it wasn't crap out on me. But really good. Really like it. I uh, got that, like I said, got that for a dollar. Got this for two dollars. This is a actual no PC game. 
It is Shadowgate Classic. Um, Shadowgate was on the PC, and uh, a lot of people like the PC game. The only issue about this is it's still got the PC controls, so you can move a mouse cursor around. Makes it a little bit difficult to do things, but overall, if, you, if you're a fan of old PC RPGs, this is a good game. Another game I got for pretty cheap. This is like two bucks. Um, I'm a big fan of Scooby Doo, so I keep. Um, anytime I see a Scooby Doo game, I generally get it. This is Scooby Doo Classic Creep Capers, and got that for two bucks. It's on the Game Boy Color. And I've always been a fan of Castlevania, and I've been trying to go back and get the ones that I, that I missed uh, earlier, or for some reason just misplaced. And they had three of the they had the three um, Castlevanias on the Game Boy Advance. So uh, I'm just going to show the mag the manuals because I don't because the cartridges are really small, they're kind of hard to see. But I got the Castlevania Circle of the Moon, Castlevania Harmony of Dissidents, and Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. And I'm actually playing through the Circle of the Moon. Uh, I've gotten mm, maybe two hours into it. And it's actually, I'm really enjoying it. Okay. And another game I got, well, actually, this is for my wife. She, when she saw that this came out, she was like, let's, she, we were actually at Best Buy getting, I'm not sure, Deadpool or Star Wars or, or some movie. And when we, when we were leaving, she was like, um, Disney Art Academy came out. Let's go to GameStop. And we literally we went to GameStop and picked it up. So we picked up Disney Art Academy. I think the day it was that came out, and my wife really is really enjoying it. Okay, and this, yeah, that's all of the portable stuff I got, all the uh, handheld. And now I'm moving to console. I got some games on the original NES. Uh, for five bucks, I got a boy and his blob. Uh, seeing a lot of stuff about the new version, and they played the original, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's basically this boy, this space alien, comes down, and you feed him jelly beans, and each jelly bean does something different. And um, from that, you can actually, you're basically trying to get the alien back home. And so that's supposed to be a really fun game, so I picked it up. A game I used to rent and play a lot when I was younger. Got this for five bucks, and that is Master Blaster. Very fun game. Basically, you're in this little tank thing. You go around shooting things to get out of it. You got in your little man. You run around, do parts of it. Very fun and pretty difficult, but overall, I really like it. Uh, this game, Tiger Heli. I'm not really sure. I'm not really played it. I saw it. It was two dollars. I was like. I'll pick it up because it's it's a NES game I don't have. It looks like some kind of a, from what I, from what the, the picture looks like, it looks like it might be a shmup or like a shoot 'em game. I may be completely wrong about that, but that's what I'm envisioning from from the title. It seems like, but I picked it up and it's two bucks. And I picked this game up for five bucks because I've actually saw somebody's review online, and I'm not sure how to say it. S Starnix, A S T Y A N A X. I'm not sure how to say that, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Dude, let me really enjoyed it. I saw. Uh, I really enjoyed the review that I saw of it. So I was like, I'm really going. I'm going. If I see see this, I'm going to pick it up. And I had it for five bucks. So I was ecstatic to get that. Okay, and now I'm moving into a little bit more modern. Um, I had the original game. And I played it so much, and I loved it so much. And I always wished I could have got the second one, but I never could find it anywhere. And finally, I found it for ten bucks. Bushido Blade Two. Oh my god, I love the first one. It is so good. It's just. It's basically a fighting game where you can kill somebody in one hit. But it's, it's supposed to be it's for realistic. Two people fight off the sword or weapons, and like uh, somebody will come in with a slash, you may deflect it and then hit and not hit them. You can not if you hit them in the leg, they'll be on the ground. If you if you hit one of their arm, maybe dis may you can disable one of their arms. And they fight with one hand. 
Very, very good. I highly recommend it. If you if you like that type of game, this I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. Okay, got a Dreamcast game. Uh, I mainly got this one just because I didn't own it. It was on their clearance shelf shelf for a dollar, and that is NBA uh, NBA 2K1. I'm not a big sports fan, but it's a it's a Dreamcast game I didn't own, and it was a buck. <laughs> so I was like, I'll pick it up just because of that. Okay, I am trying to get all the Resident Evil games that um, I don't have. And I finally, I've added another one, I can scratch another one off my list, and that is Resident Evil Deadly Aim. Was it? Dead Aim, sorry. Uh, this is kind of a shooter game. You can use the light gun with it, the gun con game. The gun con gun. <laughs> I've got two of them, like you, I think you, if you look at some of my previous videos, you'll see that I got the Vampire Knight and Virtual Cop 3, maybe? I can't remember, it's the big boxes. That's, you'll see them behind me on the, the shelf. Um, when in my video if you see me standing in front of a black shelf but yeah uh, very happy to get this it was 10 bucks he um, he gave it to me 10 bucks because the uh, the stickers and everything on the case and it looked like somebody had spilled something on the disc and, I, and he was like because uh, normally said the one I looked online is I was expecting to pay like 15 but 10 bucks and I picked it up I was very happy um, Memorial Day weekend, they had a there's a store having a pretty big sale, had 20% off. So most of the next ones I got, I got there. Um, this I've always been a fan of the Metal Gear Solid games, and I but I didn't have this this. I think it was so part of a pack or something, and that is the uh, Tactical Espionage Action Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, and it's like it's um, it's actually got says. Part of a set, not for individual return or exchange. They actually have that marked out in the back of the um, box or back of the case. But I'm not really sure what the, this game was, um, how it, where it came from, because it's not on the original PlayStation. And it's got the disc in it, and I just realized they often turned backwards. So yeah, it's like the task, ta tactical espionage action. So I'm not really sure what this is a part of. But they had it for five bucks, six bucks, I think, and they had twenty percent off of that, so I picked it up. I'm a, I'm really getting into RPGs a lot more now, so when I go to stores, I'm actually kind of starting to look for them more than other games now. Um, I know when I was younger, I didn't play them as much because I didn't like I didn't like to read very much, uh, mainly because we didn't well, the, the town I'm from doesn't have a bookstore at all. I think the closest thing to a bookstore is Walmart, and which is not very good. But, um, so, now that I've gotten older, I've really started to enjoy RPGs. And I saw this one, it was, I think it was 10 bucks, but they had the 20% off, so I got it for $8. But that is Eternal Sonata. Uh, been hearing a lot of good things about this so I picked it up and I was like yes I'm gonna the problem is it's getting added to a list a long list of games I need to play <laughs> so but picked it up so I'm really so I'm looking forward to it another I picked up another PS3 game actually oh shoot did I I think I am forgetting a game I think I forget I'm forgetting a handheld because I think I actually picked it up where is that game now I think about it and I remember what's that. Um, I picked up um, Earth Defense Force 2 on the PlayStation Vita. Been really liking it. And yeah, I think I, th I think that should be in this video. Um, if it's not, uh, it, it was in probably last month, but if not, I picked up Earth Defense Force 2 for the Vita also. That just downstairs somewhere. But for, they had it for five bucks. They had. Um, the original on the PlayStation 3. So I picked it up, they had five bucks, 20% off was whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so I saw that, I like, since I was really liking part two, I picked this up, so like just because I wanted to play the first one. All right, uh, and down to the last two. Now this is the modern system, or the current gen system, that's a better word for it. 
I picked up um, a huge wrestling fan, as you probably I've probably mentioned in many of my videos. So I picked up WWE 2K15. Um, it's got a pretty cool story uh, story mode. Like you start off in NXT, you work your way up into the WWE, work win the belt. The controls, I'm not the biggest fan of. They're okay. I, I prefer the ones from the previous game, mainly uh, probably because that's the one I got used to. But I haven't, pl I haven't played this one enough yet to. I've gotten to the NXT belt and I haven't been um, about to fight um, Finn Balor for that. But I haven't done that yet because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose to that. Okay, and the last game I got, um, actually, my wife, she watched Star Wars. She hadn't seen Star Wars since she was a little kid. So she re watched them and she really enjoyed them. And so she saw. So we actually went out one day. She's like, "Wow, let's get this game!" And she, we actually bought an extra controller. Another thing I forgot: another Xbox One controller, a blue to black faded one. It's really cool looking. I'll probably, I'll try to add a picture into it for it, and I'll try to add a picture for this if I got if I, if that was for this one also. Um, but uh, we actually got Star Wars Battlefront. So we got the controller and this at we got that at GameStop, and. Um, very fun game. I love it. My far, my favorite map right now is uh, cargo. Basically, you're trying to get into the enemy base, get the cargo, bring it back to your base. I like that. The heroes versus villains, I think is what the mode's called, is what my nephew likes a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of it, mainly because I haven't played as the like the heroes and villains enough yet to get good with them. I'm more used to the uh, being a just a regular grunt like a stormtrooper or a rebel fighter but it's a pretty cool game i really like it just the star wars universe i'm a big fan of if you watch my video you know i'm not a big fan of the newest one that much thought, thought it was kind of yeah if you and if you don't know if you don't understand if you want to know all my reasons you can watch my review my movie review of it which should be already on my channel but like i said i picked up quite a few things that's I believe that's everything. If I didn't, I'll try to add a little something here to the end. But, hope you guys enjoyed it, and till next time! Thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like. If you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I release at least two videos a week. Most of the time I release more. Leaving a comment actually helps me a lot. It helps me know what you'd like, dislike, or would like to see on my channel. So go ahead and leave me a comment. If you would like to get in touch with me, have any questions, or anything like that, you can go ahead and email me at vmail at pogamer.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time.